So I've been accused of being anti-black and something I've noticed about when people accuse me of being anti-black on YouTube is that they only accuse me of being that when I'm not muling for other black communities that I am not a part of. When I stand on business and I say, hey, you know, like, yeah, we all black, but your community does X, Y, Z to other groups of black people. And that's kind of messed up. Then I'm accused of being anti-black. And I just think that that's real peculiar. Let me tell you all exactly what posts got me accused of being anti-black. So I posted and I said that Black History Month is for Black Americans. The rest of you all have Caribbean History Month, Latino History Month, etc. to post about your history and your accomplishments. This month is for us. Now this is the reality. This is the reality. Black History Month was created by Black Americans for Black Americans because our history is not taught in this white dominated country. So we say, okay, we're going to dedicate this time to talk about our history. That is the reality. The other reality is this, okay? I actually just made a video about this. I will put the link to it up here, right? Until very recently, Black and Black American were used interchangeably. A lot of Africans and Caribbeans will say, I'm not Black, I'm Caribbean. I'm not Black, I'm African. Because, again, Black and Black American were used interchangeably. Like, Literally, people were not using black to mean black racially. They were referring to a specific black ethnicity with that word. In the video that I just recorded about this subject, it was an African guy who said, if you grew up in a black or African household, what? Because clearly the guy is, is obviously black racially. Like you can look at him and tell that he is of the black racial background. Yet he said, if you grew up in a black or African household, he did not include African households under black. Because again, this term black is oftentimes used interchangeably with the ethnicity black American. That is something that we all know, right? But for some reason, people sit here and act confused when it comes to Black History Month. So during Black History Month, suddenly every African and Caribbean is posting about themselves. But any other time y'all talking about, oh, a black or African household. Oh, I'm not black. I'm so-and-so. How does that make sense? It, it really just doesn't. Now, there's a whole conversation that could be had about how you all are black at the most convenient times. Now, when somebody's talking about black on black crime, then suddenly y'all are saying, well, I'm not black. I'm so-and-so. I'm not ghetto like black people, right? Because you're saying, I'm not ethnically black American. You're talking about that group, that specific ethnicity of black people. I'm different from them in that regard, right? But then when it's Black History Month and suddenly we're, you know, we're shining a positive light on blackness, then suddenly everybody and their mama is black and they pretend that they don't understand that the term Black History Month is about black American history, right? So I made this post because I really don't like the fact that a lot of you colonize and gentrify everything that is supposed to be uniquely about black Americans. And it's like, we show y'all a respect for your history and your culture and your whatever. We let y'all have boundaries, but y'all really don't let us have that. Last month, in fact, I saw Haitians posting about their Independence Day or something. They were talking about how they make some soup because, you know, back during slavery, only white people could eat that soup. So now they make it as an in your face, like, oh, we revolted against you. We whooped you, whatever. We can eat what we want to eat. Right. So they were all talking about this. And guess what? I did not see. I did not see any black Americans like, oh, this is about all black people like this about us, too. No, no. We let them set that boundary and have their time to, you know, celebrate themselves. Right. But every time it's time for black Americans to have some time to celebrate ourselves, it got to be about everybody and their mama. How did Black History Month get to be about y'all? But then y'all also have Caribbean History Month and that History Month and that History Month. That's also about y'all and it's not about us. I don't get that at all. I really don't get that. And y'all be doing the same thing with Juneteenth. Like Juneteenth is about the last black Americans being free from slavery. But y'all have tried to co-opt it and turn it into some, oh, it's just all black people's liberation, whatever. I, I don't get that because, again, the, the Haitian celebration was just a month ago and nobody was doing that. Nobody was trying to co-opt it. But y'all do that with Black History Month and Juneteenth every single year. 
So I made this post and I said, yeah, you know, Black History Month is about black Americans. It's not about everybody. Like, please stop colonizing and gentrifying and attempting to make everything about us about yourselves. Because I don't get that at all. Again, black Americans don't do that with y'all. When it's Caribbean History Month, we don't be like, oh, like, this is actually our so-and-so. Like, I did that last year just to be funny because y'all do that with Black History Month every year, right? But in all seriousness, black Americans don't do that with you all's celebration, you all's history, you all's nothing. We don't feel the need to take y'all stuff and try to make it about everybody or us specifically or get the spotlight off you. We don't do that. And I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of y'all have a really serious like little brother syndrome. Like you feel like black Americans always got the spotlight on us. So you got to yank it. Wait, wait, but what about me? Like relax, chill, find a better way to go about that. Right. So anyway, like I said, I made this post. And somebody commented under it talking about, yeah, this is giving me anti-black vibes. I didn't think that your channel was about that. Okay, um, if that's how you feel, then that's fine. But I would like to say this. I would like to say this. The only time anybody on YouTube has ever accused me of being anti-black is when they in the middle of doing something violent to other black people and I call them out and I ask them to stop. That's the only time I get accused of being anti-black on YouTube. An example of this happening is when black men come to my channel and they do this on a regular enough occasion, okay? They'll come to my channel and they'll say, oh, are you pro-black or just pro-black woman? And I'll say, well, what do you mean by that, right? And they'll basically say, oh, well, if you speak out against the injustices that black women specifically face, sometimes at the hands of black men, then you're not pro-black. You're just pro-black woman. And it's like, you're telling me that if I call you out for treating another demographic of black people poorly, that means I'm not pro-black. The only way for me to be pro-black is to let you oppress other groups of black people and be silent in that oppression. Like, I don't really subscribe to that. And I'm going to apply the same logic here. If the only way for me to be pro-black in your eyes is to let you oppress black Americans, then I don't want no parts of that. Thank you very much.